everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life of Sweetness. I finally, finally, finally did it, you guys. I made my own YouTube channel, and this is my very first vlog. Some of you may know me from the RBG fam. It is a YouTube channel that I have with my family, my husband, and my three kids. I decided to start my own channel and it's so crazy. I cannot, I still can't believe that I'm sitting here doing it. Um, so I, I have had several people tell me, probably within the last year, you know, I used to start your YouTube channel. My girl Maria from us always is always telling me, you should start a YouTube channel. Obviously keep your family channel and start your own. So I've thought about it for a very long time. And my first dilemma was, should I do, you know, just a crafting channel or maybe something where I can do other vlogs at the same time, like maybe a crafting stay at home mom vlog. I wouldn't want to do that just like on a specific crafting channel. So that's why we have life of sweetness. All right. So I don't want to do too much talking. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give you guys some facts about me. Um, I did try to Google, you know, 25 facts about myself so you guys can get to know me. There might be a little more or a little less. So I'm going to go ahead and answer all of those. And then after I do that, I'm going to give you guys kind of a little idea um, more so on what this channel is going to be about. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I do read the first question, if you guys have not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is my very first vlog, very first own YouTube channel. It's so crazy. I still cannot believe that I'm saying that. And then of course, if you're like, what you see so far, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. All right, so getting to know me. If you guys do not know who I am, my name is Vanessa. My full name is Vanessa Marie Gutierrez. I am married to Robert Gutierrez <laughs> and I have three kids. I have my oldest, which is 15. Her name is Layla. My middle child, which is my son, my only little dearest crazy son, Elijah. And then my little rainbow baby, which um, she's two and her name is Amaya. All right, so next question would be, uh, where are you from? I am from California. I lived in Southern California my entire life. Okay, so who's your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush is, if you guys don't know, Drake. <laughs> I just I just love him so much. What is your favorite color? I would have to say my favorite color is pink, even though I don't really like to wear pink. I prefer black. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I guess you, you would say I like pink and black. Where do you shop? I shop at Walmart. <laughs> That's where you'll find me. You'll find me at the, our neighborhood Walmart down the street. Now, but other than that, I'll go to like the gallery at Tyler. I'll, you know, go to Windsor. Oh, I do like Windsor. There you go. What is your favorite drink? So it depends what kind of drink you're talking about. You're talking about alcohol or not. I'm just kidding. If it were like a non-alcoholic drink, I would say water or lemonade. And for an alcoholic drink, a lot of you guys probably already know, I always be drinking my White Claws <laughs> with a little chamoy on the rim. If I'm not drinking a White Claw, I'll probably be drinking Angry Orchard. Yeah. What is your favorite snack? I would have to say my favorite snack is a Kit Kat bar. My whole family knows I love Kit Kat bars. I literally have to hide them now because my kids know that like, every time I go to the grocery store, I'll buy one or sometimes two because it'll be like two for the price of one. And I put that, I have to put them in my purse. Like I have my backpack purse and I put them in the front pocket now because my kids are like trying to jack me of my Kit Kats. And I'm like, y'all don't touch my Kit Kats, okay? They're like, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> I'm like, no, this is mine. Uh, okay, let's see. When is your birthday? My birthday is January 9th, 19. 1986 and I am 36 years old and the cool fun fact about my birthday is it's I was born in 1986 and my birthday is 1986 so it's like 1986 what is your favorite book I've honestly never been like a really big reader I read the Twilight series books those are probably like the only books that I really really got into what is your favorite sport I don't know if I really have like a favorite sport like growing up I played softball I did cheer and now you know that I met my husband. He's a Rams fan. So, I mean, I started watching football with him. I think that's just a fun thing that, you know, we do with our family. My son gets into it. So the next question would be, what's your team? For baseball would be the Dodgers and for football, 
would be the Rams. All right, so the next question is, what do you like to eat? I really love Italian food. When I first met my husband, he wanted to take me on a date, and I thought dates were, like, super weird because I never really went, like, on dates, you know? And I told him I love Italian food, and he took me to Buco de Beppo for the first time out in Brea, and I'm like, oh, my God, I love it. I just love Italian food. I love pizza, first off. Like, who doesn't love pizza? I know there's some people out there that don't love pizza, but I love, love pizza. And lasagna, oh, my God, and... Yeah, just all of that. I just love, love, love it. Fatty life. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and keep moving on. The next question is, what is your favorite TV show? I would have to say Grey's Anatomy, The Walking Dead, although I haven't watched The Walking Dead in such a long time. I love Grey's Anatomy. I feel like I was always able to like relate to it because I'm a respiratory therapist. I work in a hospital, although I'm not working right now. I first got my license at the age of 25 and I worked all the way up until I was 35 and then went on leave when I had my baby and I haven't been back since, but I just love Grey's Anatomy. I'm always like, you know, like relating like my work to like the show and I'm like, oh, that's funny because it's like that or that's funny, it's not like that. So those of you that are in the medical field, you can probably relate. The next question is, what is your favorite season? I would have to say my favorite season is summer, which a lot of people can disagree. Like people are just like I hate the heat I love the summer I love um, I love being hot <laughs> no. I don't like being hot but I can always go in the air conditioning you know and go in the pool I just love when the sun's out I don't really like gloomy weather I feel like it makes me just sad I like summer and then I like the transition into like fall you know because it's not too hot not too cold do you like to get your nails done I do like to get my nails done even though they're not done right now I was just giving them a little breather but yes I usually do the SNS dip my girl Shandora hooks me up all the time. <laughs> I need to sip up my coffee. Hold on, guys. Shake it up a little. Shout out to my husband for... Oh, there's a, my hair's on here. Shout out to my husband for getting my coffee and hooking me up with my mic. <laughs> he just, like, set my whole, like, little thing up. I was just going to do, like, a regular, like, recording... And he's like, do you want to like, um, you know, set the mic up and stuff? And I'm like, sure, babe, hook me up. So shout out to you, baby. I love you. All right. So moving on, do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Definitely an extrovert. I would have to say being younger growing up, I was, I, I don't want to say I was an introvert, but I was more of a quiet person, but I did like to be around people. I like to have fun, you know, and play with other children and stuff. Cause I feel like an introvert person is somebody that really doesn't like to, you know, be around other people or the crowds and stuff. So definitely an extrovert. All right, so the next question is, what makes you feel accomplished? When I sit down on the couch and I just got done cleaning my whole house and I look at my house, I'm like, damn, this house looks clean. <laughs> Yeah, that definitely makes me feel accomplished. But um, just here working in my office, knowing that I can, you know, make my, you know, hobby that I have here into, you know, a reality and a small business. All right. So next question is, what is your idea of a perfect vacation? All right. So this is easy. If you guys know me and my family, if you guys follow the RBG fam, you guys know we are always, always going on vacation. We love to go camping in our trailer, whether it's to the beach, to the desert. That's one place that my children love to go. My oldest daughter just love going to the desert. I personally love going to Camp Land, which is in San Diego. But the perfect vacation is just being with my family and not just, you know, my my immediate family, my kids and my husband, you know, but we have a big group of camping members that go with us or, or even to Laughlin to the lake. And we just created this great relationship with other friends and family that like love to do the same thing as us. And we just have so, so much fun. We have a good time. And most importantly, my kids love it. And we just cherish and take these memories with us and it's just the best it's so much fun so the next question is gonna be what is the craziest thing you've ever done and would you do it again I would have to say the craziest thing I've ever done was marry my husband I'm just kidding <laughs> Uh, that's probably one of the best things I've ever done. Uh, the craziest thing, gosh, I don't know. Like, I'm not much of a risk taker. I don't like to take risks. I don't like confrontations. So I don't really do crazy things. And I think that's because I'm not a really big risk taker. What have I done that's crazy? It, it would have to be when I was, like, younger. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll have to think about it. Maybe I'll come back to that one. So this question is kind of cool. The next question is, if a genie granted you three wishes right now, what would those wishes be? If I were granted three wishes, I would wish 
I wish, I wish. I'm just kidding. I think my first wish would be for, you know, good health on my entire family. That would probably be my, my first one. My second one would probably be a success in my business. Maybe something like that. Uh, my business and my husband's business. I don't know if that would count for one wish together. <laughs> <laughs> but if it wouldn't, if it didn't, wouldn't count for one wish together, maybe that would be my third one. So good health for my family for success with my business and my husband's business. All right. So next question would be, have you ever met a famous person? Yeah, my husband. <laughs> So super quick story. If you guys do not know, um, my husband is Robert, aka ODM from a 90s hip hop group, Light of Shade of Brown. If you guys don't know um, who I'm talking about, go look up on a Sunday afternoon and you guys will know. I didn't know who he was actually when I first met him. I thought he was just like a DJ from the radio station. I had no idea that he was from that group. So just a little, little side note there. But as far as anybody else, I mean, other people in, you know, the industry with him, I guess you could say like Frankie J, Baby Bash super sweet guys of course i have yet to meet drake one day so the next question is can you speak more than one language unfortunately i cannot and a lot of people look at me and wonder like do you speak spanish or why can't you speak spanish and unfortunately i do not i can say like a couple words here and there but it sounds terrible i can understand a couple words here and there but yeah i just i wasn't taught growing up my dad does my mom doesn't and all of my mom's siblings don't speak spanish at all which is so crazy because my grandparents do but a lot of you guys may not know my husband it's not fluent in Spanish. <laughs> like he can say and rap a couple of words in Spanish and understand things here and there, but he's not fluent in Spanish either. So, so next question is going to be next question. <laughs> have you ever flown in a helicopter? I have not flown in a helicopter, but I think it'd be super cool. I always wanted to do the whole Vegas tour thing. So babe, <laughs> Next time we go to Vegas, I want to go in a helicopter. <laughs> That'd be fun to do. But I've been on an airplane, so I've traveled to places and stuff. All right, so the next question is, have you ever broke a bone? I have never broke a bone ever, which is so weird because when I was little, I always wanted to cast. <laughs> and I always wanted to break, like, my arm or my leg, which is so... It's like growing up and you see kids with braces, like, oh, my God, I want braces or I want glasses. I wanted glasses. I tried to pretend I couldn't see when I was little, so I, like, wanted glasses and eventually... Usually I had to get braces um, in high school. Next question is so random. Have you ever done the splits? Okay, I <laughs> just Googled this like fact sheet. So it's really funny. I have done the splits. I used to be a cheerleader in high school. Okay, so moving on, we're getting towards the end now. And the next question is, have you ever gotten plastic surgery? If you have, what have you done? And if you haven't, would you ever do it? So as far as plastic surgery, yes, I have had my breast done a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even look like it anymore. I had my boobs done back in 2020. I'm all 2020. No, 2008. That was a long time ago. So it was a, a year after I had my oldest. So my oldest was born 20. I keep saying 20 because I'm so used to saying it. 2007. That's so weird, right? It's such a long time ago, but it's not. So yeah, I had my boobs done in 2008 and I really want to do them again. I just honestly, truthfully, I do not have the money. But as far as doing other plastic surgery, yeah, if I had the money, I would have already had the mommy makeover. Like I would already do that. Maybe like a little bit of lipo right here, but honestly, I could probably just work out. I need to start working out. I'm a very like, athletic person I love to work out I love to go running I love to lift weights but not like super like muscular but I just like to be toned all right guys so that's actually the end of my list I hope that gives you guys more information about myself especially if you guys are new here I know a lot of you guys are probably over from our family YouTube channel and I know you guys know a lot about me already <laughs> so if you guys maybe do want to get to know me a little more just keep watching but real quick before I do wrap up here just a little bit of information as far as my business and my crafting, my crafting Instagram. If you guys do not know, I am the owner and founder of Glitter by Ness Designs by Ness. I started off making tumblers, probably as far as epoxy tumblers, I started making those around 2020 and then other just like vinyl and plastic um, tumblers and t-shirts. I started doing that probably in like 2018. So I've been crafting for a very long time. I have always been super crafty growing up. I kid you not, when I was a kid, uh, my aunt got me these stamps for my birthday and I was probably most excited for these stamps than any other toy I got on my birthday.
earthy. I'm not like very artistic where I can draw. Like I can't, I'm not an artist at all, but I just love crafting, glitter, glue, all of that fun stuff. You guys can see some of the cups behind me are sublimation tumblers that I have made. Also, you guys can see my glitter right here. You can find all this stuff on my website. So having said all that, this channel is mostly gonna be based on crafting, tumblers, glitter tutorial, glitter unboxings, maybe cup unboxing, mainly stuff like that because that's what I love to do. That makes me happy. That's my passion. That's my hobby. That's my therapy. <laughs> Once in a while, you know, maybe I'll throw in some other stuff pertaining just to, you know, myself or a day in the life at home. As far as my family, that's probably going to stay mostly on our RVG family YouTube channel. So if you guys are not subscribed to that channel, go subscribe there when you guys are done watching this, if you can. And then also while you're at it, <laughs> go search my husband's podcast, the Blockout podcast, go subscribe to his channel as well. So before I do close, I just want to say I'm super excited for this journey. I feel like this is like a place, my home, my spot where I can, you know, be who I want to be. I feel like on the RVG fam, I have to be like wifey and mom there. And sometimes I feel like I can't be myself. And sometimes like I'll be talking a lot and my husband will be like, okay, you're talking way too much. And I'm like, babe, like, come on, I'm a female. Women want to hear what I have to say. Women are nosy. You know, I mean, I'm nosy too. So I just feel like this place I can talk for as long as I want like I am right now <laughs> and that's that and, and then do tutorials and, and talk as much as I want on there no I promise I won't bore you guys I'm super nervous about this but at the same time I'm super excited I just feel like it's a whole new journey for me and then of course my family too you know we're venturing off we have our family YouTube channel my husband's venturing off and doing his podcast and I'm doing my own you know YouTube channel here so it's exciting and it's just crazy and we're super busy but I wouldn't have it any other way this is just you know our life and I'm used to it you know all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and close out thank you so much for watching if you guys do have any other questions about me comment down below and I'll try to get back to you if I didn't answer here and then of course if you have not already please don't forget to subscribe also give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you next time love you guys bye